Hey everybody and welcome to the cupboard. I'm here today to do a review on Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. <laughs> purchased based on booktube recommendations like solely really based on that I had not heard of it at all except for booktube now the final straw and what made me get out of my hotel bed and drive five minutes to the nearest bookstore when I was on a business trip was seeing the trailer and seeing people review and talk about the trailer also. So I'm a huge fan and I like to read the books before I see the movies and the movie intrigued me quite a bit so I knew I wanted to read the book. I then did even more research and looked at even more people who did reviews on it or talked about me before you and the story just sounded very very compelling. I finished it really quickly, three or four day read, I was hooked right from the beginning. It sort of starts with introducing the male character, Will, and talking a little bit about his life. And then we get into Louisa, Louisa Clark. And she is really the main focus of this story. It's about her and her life and how the people that she meets in her life, how she reacts to those people, how she interacts with those people, and how maybe meeting someone and these small things that we don't think are huge at the time can end up being really life-changing. So the basic premise of the book is Louisa loses her job and she needs to find a new job and she finds a new job taking care of a quadriplegic. She has never had any experience doing this before but she jumps in and for a while it is a rough start. Louisa gets this new job and it's obviously like really hard at first, it's very different from anything she's done, and what the book really shows us is the relationship that she ends up having. The whole book is really about relationships. Relationships with her parents, with her sister, with her employers, and how they work together and how she reacts to whatever's happening at the time. It really is a book based on, on choices and rooted in that theme of we are the choices that we make which I really, really liked. I will say that this book will make you cry. I think it took me longer to finish the book because at some points I was crying so much I couldn't see the words on the page. But it was a good, it was a good cry. Sometimes you need a cry with a book. There wasn't anything about it that I didn't really like. I am not wanting to jump into the sequel though right away but there is a sequel and I will probably put that on a TBR list in the future. Give me before you a four out of five stars and the reason I'm not giving it a five is because I'm being very very conscious of the books that I do give a five out of five stars to. A five out of five star book should be one that I like can't get out of my brain and that sits with me for so long and this had so many parts of that, but it wasn't quite quite there for me. So I'd give it a 4 out of 5 because it is still an excellent story with extremely vivid characters that are very likable and hateable at the same time, which is something that I really enjoy. So I would definitely recommend Me Before You if you haven't branched out into adult fiction, which is what this is, and you're looking for one that's going to be a really nice transition and some something awesome, definitely check this out. And Jojo Moyes has written quite a few other books that I'm going to be checking out as well. Thanks for checking in with me in the cupboard. I will be talking to you all soon.